Hey there, my friend. I'm Melanie Ferguson, and you're watching Southern Crush at Home. I am so glad you're here today because I am thrilled to share a new technique that I just learned with you. It is called hydro dipping. So you're gonna take some very simple Rust-Oleum spray paint here. You are gonna use it in a bath of water, and you're gonna dip some of your favorite pieces of decor to create some amazing, fun patterns. I am so excited, you guys. I have been torn between whether my favorite was number four or number six. I don't know, let me know in the comments below which one you love the most. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is add some spray paint using slight even strokes over the top of your water. Now, this is where you can get really creative, you can add multiple colors, but for these modern planners, I chose to go with the Rust-Oleum navy blue color. It is awesome, you just want to roll it easily through the spray paint. This one, I felt like it missed the one side, so I went ahead and sprayed the um, paint again all over the water and added it to the other side of the planter. Look at how cute it turned out. I absolutely love the modern look of this marbled spray paint effect the hydro dipping gives this planter. It turns it from a Dollar Tree $5 planter into an amazing modern planter. So for dip number two, I'm headed back to the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna grab these plastic spoons. I was like, um, these would be really cute if we dolled them up with a little bit of spray paint. So again, we're taking our container of water and adding the spray paint in light, even strokes throughout the water. And again, I'm starting with that beautiful um, navy color. I will link everything in the comments below. I mean, in the description below. Um, but, and I decided let's get creative with these spoons. Let's add a little bit of this pink. So I added pink and pink and navy are my actual two favorite colors together. And then last but not least, I decided to add a little few pops of gold to the mix. Now I'm gonna lightly lay my spoons into the spray paint mixture and boom, they came out and had all the colors on them. I laid them over on a piece of cardboard to dry and I just took each one and repeated the process. I did learn a lot through doing the hydro dipping. This was only my second, again, piece to try this effect with. And you can see how it gets a little bit stringy. Now there's a couple reasons for that. Number one, I puddled the spray paint just a little bit too much in certain areas. It needs to be light, even strokes and not just um, all concentrated. But look at how cute they turned out. I do love the final, final effect and these would make a really cute gift. Now, dip number three, I went with the hot pink all the way. Now this was a Dollar Tree um, picture frame that I grabbed and I already dipped it a little bit with the light pink and it just didn't show up very well. So I dipped it with the hot pink and voila, so pretty, so cute. What a great way to add a little pop of color to your frame. For dip number four, I went back to my favorite candles. These are the prayer candles that they have at the Dollar Tree, simple and white. Um, I grabbed one of these and again, I went with that navy blue color. I knew it would match my decor in my living space. And see, I'm a lot higher up in the water, being a little more on purpose about the way that I spray it. And then if I let it set for a minute, it kind of takes on a shape of its own. Once it has settled a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and take the white prayer candle and roll it. I'm, I'm kind of dipping and rolling at the same time. It's like a, a dip roll dunk. You see how I'm rolling it and dunking it all at the same time? I didn't wanna get it inside the candle, um, so look at how cute. Oh my gosh, it is perfect on this little table. Um, it makes the prettiest little um, effect on the candle and again once again I think it would make a great gift even for Mother's Day hint and um, hint hint dip number five I thought I'd get creative with some of these really fun water bottles these are in the Dollar Tree Plus section and I'm loving this neon green I was like woo this hot pink spray paint would go 
perfect on this. So I just dipped it right in there and it turned out really cute. I don't know if this was the best color to show you in the background, but I was kind of showing you, you could do it and, and hang out with the, at the pool with it. For dip number six, I got super creative. I found these really fun sunglasses that said bride and babe on them. And so I found some white ones with babe and I of course went back with the hot pink spray paint. I popped out the lenses, super easy to do on these inexpensive frames. And I thought, how fun would it be just to give them a little bit of color with this hydro dipping process, you guys. Don't forget to let me know which one of these uh, items is your favorite down in the comments below. This is how they turned out. I popped those little lenses back in and they're actually pretty darn cute. I am definitely gonna actually wear these poolside this summer. My dog just made her cameo appearance in the background. All right, dip number seven. You guys, I went back to the Dollar Tree Plus section and found these stemless wine glasses. They are insulated and perfect for hydro dipping. So I'm gonna take the lid off, of course, and I'm gonna dip that turquoise right there into my favorite hot pink spray paint there by Rust-Oleum. It really does stick well. I just rolled it through it and there you go. That is the effect. That is the effect I was looking for. Just a pop of hot pink. I applied, applied the lid. I put the lid back on. It makes a cute gift. You could even use a Cricut to put some monogrammed initials on the front, I thought. Would be really fun, fun idea. For dip, oh, oh wait, I was gonna go to the next dip. I'm showing you how to clean it. You just take a paper towel and wipe it across the surface between dips. Dip number eight, we decided to get funky with some flip flops. We're gonna get funky with some Dollar Tree flip flops. So they are super plain, but never fear. We're gonna add our Rust-Oleum spray paint in the pink and blue colors again. I'm gonna keep that little holder on them just for ease of dipping. And it actually was perfect for holding the flip flops um, and not and not having to hold each flip flop. Does that make sense? Anyway, I just went for it. I'm gonna do this in slow motion. That is how you dip it in slow motion. But um, these actually turned out really, really cute. I'm just thinking of all the colors I could use. I'm thinking orange with the hot pink, green, all of the beautiful summer colors. Love, love, love these flip flops. All right, so dip number nine, the moment you've all been waiting for, the final dip. I went back in for this scented oil warmer. Um, they have these at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. And I thought they were the perfect item to dip. So I just added a little pop of navy blue. Guys, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And then I put the little scented oil in it and it looks really, really cute in my outlet there. And um, yeah, why not? Why not make it cute too? Listen guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.